The original Dashboard X jailbreak tweak was groundbreaking because it allows you to have widgets on your home screen, on your iPad, or on your iPhone. But it wasn't without its fair share of issues. Namely, when you rotated the device, when you switched between portrait and landscape, the widgets kind of jumped around. But with Dashboard X 2.0, you have a whole new interface, and you can now position the widgets with both portrait and landscape mode in mind. You see, here's the new list of widgets, the add new widget box, the pop-up menu. So that's new and a whole lot more sleek than the previous iteration of Dashboard X. So let's add the clock widget. Let's keep interaction and replace background on and add our widget. You see the widget appears right here. And just like the previous version of Dashboard X, you can drag your widget with one finger, just like this, tap and hold. But now, yes, now, you're gonna love this, folks. You can actually pinch to zoom in or out on your widget so you can make it smaller or larger and fit in specific areas on your home screen. This is very, very convenient as you might imagine. And once you've positioned your widget to the desired location, you just press your home button, it gets out of wiggle mode, and there it is, folks. There is your widget position exactly like you want it right there on your home screen, courtesy of Dashboard X 2.0. Now, let's tap and hold, and let's make some changes here. First of all, we're gonna go ahead and Let's just get rid of this widget. Notice the new animation when you deleted the widget as well. We'll showcase that a little bit later. Let's add NC settings. You can also add, of course, notification center widgets or dedicated Dashboard X widgets. And you can see I've enlarged the NC settings widget quite a bit there. Now, now one thing that plagued previous versions of Dashboard X is this. When you switch orientation on the iPad, you see what happens there? If I can get it to switch, come on, there we go. You see how it goes off the screen? See, in previous versions of Dashboard X, wherever you set your widget is where it was on both portrait and in landscape mode. You couldn't have a different setting for each orientation, but with Dashboard X 2.0, you could actually orient it both in landscape and portrait, and it'll auto adjust depending on which orientation it's currently set at. So notice here, I have it there, and I switch it like that. And I'll just drag this widget right here over to the middle of the screen. And watch what happens when I go back into portrait mode. She goes right back to the prior location. Let me see if I can give you guys a better example of this. I'm going to drag this up here right next to Dashboard X. And you see when I move it just like that and move it back. See how it's going back and forth between the two? So you can set the location of your widget both in portrait mode and in landscape mode, completely independent of one another. That is awesome, let me tell you. Okay, so let me show you something else different here. How about this replace background option? This is with replace background on, and you can see it's just a clear widget. Let's delete that. Okay, I'm gonna add it again, but this time I'm gonna turn replace background off, add the widget, and notice you can see the background of the widget now. You see the little squares where the time is? See, that's the difference between those two. Now, did you see that? The animation when I deleted the widget? That is a brand new animation. Notice this for Dashboard X 2.0. So as you can see, this is a complete overhaul, a complete rewrite of Dashboard X with version 2.0. For the most part, the options look pretty much the same, but the performance is where you'll notice the greatest difference with version 2.0. You'll notice new animations, you have the new orientation independent feature for your widgets, you have a new interface when it comes to actually adding new widgets to your home screen, the new pop-up interface that appears right here. So a lot is new with the new Dashboard X, and needless to say, it comes highly recommended from yours truly. If you are a fan of the original version of Dashboard X, then just wait until you try version 2.0. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.